So what we've done is set up a 10 by 20 mock irrigation system here so you can see everything. Six spray heads. We're gonna show you how it works without anything else connected to it. And then we're going to hook up three root quenchers and show you that by adjusting the valve, you can balance the flow. One thing I did wanna show you with our little mock irrigation system is the terrible evaporation that's going on. If you take a look at these spray heads, you see as much water going into the air as you do going on the ground. As a general practice, this is terrible. So we're gonna be installing and showing you some different ways to connect them as well. We're also gonna show you that you can integrate root quenchers with existing spray head systems and be able to get water to all the plants and trees even more effectively. So what Greg is gonna do is he's gonna remove the riser, but then he's gonna put a T on with a nipple to be able to keep that spray head there, but actually add a root quencher to the system. He's gonna use a flexible riser to connect to the root quencher, and then he's gonna put that spray head right back on. So imagine if you have this sprinkler system set up for your lawn, and you have a tree that's not doing well nearby. This is a perfect solution without having to run a new line or anything. So now you've got the root quencher and a spray head. In this application, what Greg is doing is he's actually replacing the spray head. So in this case, let's say you've got uh, a spray head in the garden and you want to do your subsurface watering, so you don't need the spray head anymore, so you just replace it with a root quencher. Beyond the fact that the root quencher will integrate with your existing spray heads, let's get rid of the spray heads. Let's get rid of the evaporation. Let's let you walk through your garden when your irrigation is on and not get wet like me. Rootquencher.com.